welcome back guys to yet another world of warcraft video on this channel today we have another video of the weekly gold making series for you guys now before we do get straight into it make sure that you drop a uh, drop a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel with all the notifications on and also i want to thank every single one of the patrons over on patreon supporting me all the time and also with quite a lot I appreciate you guys. Make sure if you're not already over on the Patreon to check it out if you're interested in TSM groups, if you're interested in sniping groups or a shopping list for a point blank sniper for your auctionator, or if you're interested in anything regarding uh, alt army gold making. That is also something that you can actually uh, get because I have a very long document over there that basically goes over a lot of the stuff that I am doing and I'm going to be doing. And I'll also update all of that for Dragonflight. So it's, uh, it's good. It's great. So make sure you check that out. But let's get straight into the video. Now, what we have right here in front of your eyes is my TSM for the last week. And as you can see, based on previous episodes, obviously there isn't really a lot going on here. We haven't really seen too many sales. Now, there's a couple different reasons for that being the case. One, I've been working very, very hard on leveling, uh, especially because of the pre-patch being where it is. And we have, obviously, the 50% experience buff and a couple other things that make it a lot faster. So I've been working hard on that. And besides that, also, we're obviously in a, uh, in a, in a point with gold making where things are pretty slow. So there's a couple different explanations for why things are the way that they are. But either way, I am still happy with the sales that we were able to get, considering the fact that we basically only post once or twice a day at the moment and as you can see 1.5 million gold earned and we spent 870,000. so we haven't there hasn't been any great investment opportunities uh but let's go let's go over it we can take a look at it for a little bit here now something that we do is obviously i run the sniper and i can get great deals like that one right there we got 50 spirit of harmony right there uh, but let's go over it um Actually, the Primal Bat Leather, I bought this just because I was just interested, but I'm, I'm, I, I don't know about this. It's, it's a little bit of a all over the place. I'm holding on to one of them. Now, we did see a Nightblade go for 20k, and I decided to buy that one because we can easily almost double our money uh, in a lot of situations with this. And uh, then we also bought... Uh, a couple plundered blade of the northern kings here as you guys can see we bought them for 12.5k we also got some for 8.5k and these guys are going super super low recently on terran mill which is really interesting because we have been able to on average sell these for 30 to 40k as you can also see so this is very interesting that they're going this low but it's obviously because there's not a lot of people buying them right now and a lot of people are struggling and really 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 hunting to get some gold out there but i don't mind buying these up and selling them down the road for a great amount of profit and even if we don't make any gold on the ones that we bought so far we are already in profit on these so no matter what i am happy with those purchases now besides that we all we also got Two Exodar life staffs here for a, we actually got three. Yeah, we got three of them. We sold one of them for 12k too. We got them for 7k, which is actually pretty good. But other than that, it's really uh, snipes that we see here on the material sniper. As you guys can see, uh, we bought 705 black lotuses, and obviously because we haven't posted much, we haven't been able to sell much of anything either because we get undercut quite fast. We also got a lot of Queen's Garnet here. Now, I will say we we were able to sell quite a lot of these, which is awesome. And we're still currently working our way towards selling the last 24 that we got. But as you can see, a lot of these are materials that are available in the material sniper list that I have on uh, Point Blank Sniper. Obviously, a Patreon thing. But that's actually like the majority of what we've been uh, spending our money on, or our gold on, rather. We have also invested in some uh, expansion launch things as you can see we bought some gun shoes here and uh, further down the list we also bought some goblin glider kits and also some fried bonefish now the goblin glider kits are basically just gliders that you can use if you're out and about leveling people use them for pvp too and 
uh, we bought the fried bonefish because fried bonefish is speed food that a lot of people are probably going to be interested in too. And then obviously with the gun shoes, they are a very fast burst of energy that we uh, also decided to, to buy because a lot of these things actually go up in value a lot and a lot of people start buying them right around launch, which is why I decided to actually purchase them uh, now and hold on to them, which is great. But uh, then obviously there's the revenue part of it. We actually did sell a, var a Varif skill guillotine here or however you were supposed to say that for 285k which i'm happy about i've, I've kind of decided with these weapons because uh, obviously you got to remember my data is a little skew skewed here because it's uh, from two different pcs but i've decided with these that i am uh, only holding on to two of them so that is where we're at at the moment we were also able to sell one captured student scavenger for 103k not really the greatest price it's still a profit because we bought these for 90k uh, but I'd love to see more. So I think a majority of the other ones we're probably going to hold on to. Now, we did sell a depleted Kyperion rocket for 72k, which is really not that great at all. Uh, it's decent. It's a couple thousand profit, which I'm happy about. We also sold a strange goop for 57k, which is, uh, you know, 20k profit, which I'm overall pretty happy with. But I am going to hold on to the rest of the other ones until the new expansion again. Another one of those things I'm not planning on selling more of. Now, we did sell the first mate's hat. This took 84 days to sell, but we bought it for 25k and we sold it for 41, which I am very happy about. Um, besides that, we also sold a pair of these uh, bows of Archdruid Van Yali, or however you want to say these. These are uh, uh, Legion. I believe Legion transmog and there I, I found these for almost nothing like 5,000 gold a long time ago so I'm pretty happy with that sale we were able to sell some Panthers as, as well for some decent money and besides that it's smaller things nothing uh, out of the ordinary actually this one the ethereum Nexus Reaver uh, we've been buying these up for a seven eight nine K so selling one for 21 K is really nice but besides that, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, we got rid of a couple different things because they were low in value and also cleaning out for things that I don't really want to hold on to. Uh, but besides that, it's really just smaller flips of materials, nothing out of the ordinary. So nothing nothing too crazy this week, but obviously it's good to show that this happens too. Uh, and obviously, we, we, we really lower the amount of gold that we can make here simply because of the fact that we've been spending most of our time leveling which is completely all right i ha i have no issues with that that is actually on purpose uh since you know obviously where we want to spend a lot of our time is when the expansion launches because that is where the majority of the gold that we're going to be able to make is going to be found so i'm very much looking forward to that and uh hopefully uh you know we have a good amount of alts done by that time but hopefully we can see a couple more sales towards the new expansion some decent ones but we'll see it's uh it's not really that important but uh yeah that's basically everything that i had for this video oh there's some a lot of people posting moto harmony here but yeah, that's everything I have for this video. Nothing too interesting this week, but that is absolutely okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and until the next one, see you guys!